All right, got a new hat. Do you like it? Yes or no, let me know in the comments. Welcome back, Melissa here. Today we're gonna to talk about my 2017 Jeep Wrangler JKU. The sounds of chaos echo through the night. The city's an assault on peace of mind. It's always buzzing and never sleeps. Leaves me driving around overcrowded streets in the city of hustle. There's no time to think. My miss your shot the moment you blink. So we wait for tomorrow like we wait for a drug. And we're hoping this time that the fix will be enough. Then the song over the radio. Oh, and I can feel bringing back all I know. Like a whiz, like a kiss, like a voice to remind me. I don't have to lie awake oh, tonight. I just need to find a place that I can call my Town. Makes it hard to breathe and find solid ground We pace these streets but forget who we are Lost in the chase, dreams covered in scars Makes me want go in the towel sometimes Sell my heart, trade it for nickels and dimes I could leave it, stop believing But I feel the wind remind me I don't have to fly away tonight I just need to find a place that I can call my own Can call my own I don't need a palace in the sky I just need to find a place that I can call my own Call my own This is the 2017 JKU, had it two years. I'm the primary driver and I love it. Um, I'm putting on a good amount of miles every day. Hunter and I ride in this to his day program, but I'm gonna tell you some things I like. One, the color. This is called the Gobi, and uh, we had to order this. We also ordered it in the six speed manual transmission. So I like that. I like driving a clutch, unless I'm in a traffic jam. Stop and go traffic, ah, don't like that. Also, sunny day like today, I like taking the tops out of it. It's a lot of fun. The wind blowing through my hair is not too hot, not too humid. The only disadvantage for that is like, your radio has to be louder. And when you are in traffic, I feel like a DJ. I feel like I need to be playing the right song for whoever's around me is gonna hear it. I want it to be a cool jam. So I'm always like prepared for this traffic light. Um, it has the hands-free dialing so my phone's connected I can take a phone call I can make a phone call um, it has voice command for the radio all that jazz but the tops are out the windows are down it's hard I can't hear the person calling me or on the other end so that's a, the disadvantage on a sunny day but that's okay that's that's really not a bad thing for real okay so Melissa here again I had to go change my shirt um, I actually changed my jeans too 
and I brought out my glasses. There's a couple things I want to read to you. If you're new to our channel, this is a good time for you to check out our Facebook page and our Instagram page, Outdoors with the Morgans. Check out our website, outdoorswiththemorgans.com. Um, that's where you'll see a lot of um, the shirts. If you'd like to order a shirt, this is the Outdoors with the Morgan logo on the front and the back. It's the Firework Family Freedom. I hope you can see that. Okay, I'm doing this all by myself, so I'm trying to get everything right. Um, Outdoors with the Morgans, if you're new to the YouTube channel, check out the other videos. We have videos on trail building, our golden retrievers, the chickens, all outdoor work, and the joys that come along with it. So check that out. A lot of firewood videos and tractor videos. Okay, now for modifications to this Jeep, the only modifications we've done is the three and a half inch JKS suspension and the 35 inch tires. They're the Mickey Thompson tires and then the fuel wheels. So those were the only modifications we've done thus far. All right, now we're gonna take a look under the hood. These little latch hood latches, very clever when you just unsnap them like this. See, it still gives you the uh, little grill of the Jeep. All the detail that goes into the Jeep is pretty nice. I also like the floor mats. I'll have to show you those. The engine is a 3.6 liter V6 engine and that's 285 horsepower. So that's enough. No, not really. But for a Jeep, it works fine. And it's definitely not gonna win races, but that's okay. I'm, I'm driving a Jeep, I'm not entering races. If I wanted to win a race, I would definitely take Mike's F-150. That definitely is uh, a nice truck. It is a 3.5 liter V6 twin turbo, and uh, it is fast. It's fast. It has a sports mode button. I think he has that in his video. So as Mike says, if you want to check out that video, I'll put it right up here. Okay, so next I'm going to tell you about these headlights. Uh, I do want to say, hey Mike, thanks for leaving a yellow shop cloth in the Jeep. It comes in handy to wipe off my hands after um, opening the hood and, and um, the engine dust. So thanks. All right, these headlights are the LED, the new white, super bright headlights. If you have a new car or have this Jeep, you will know that they are super bright. They're the ones that the um, driver coming the other direction will flick the lights to say, hey, your high beams are on, when they're really not on. Um, with the three and a half inch lift and the 35 inch tires, the way the headlights just kind of hit the uh, driver coming the other way right in the eyes. So they're really not high beams. Um, even the high beams are super bright, then you know. Once you see the high beams, you're like, oh, yeah. Also, um, the fog lights are nice. Uh, and you see you have them on the front bumper there. So they do come in handy and I like them. Here we are in the sun again. All right, now I want to show you the back. Um, the gate swings out and then you just open up your window, which here we have the Outdoors with the Morgans Split Happens YouTube sticker. You can get one on the website. So you can see it's pretty roomy. Um, 12 volt plug-in. It's a nice cargo area. It'll do great with hauling dogs, dog food, lots of groceries, and even straw. But don't tell me. Just to close it up, you close the window. You can just easily slam the gate shut. And I'm gonna show you the spare tire. So the spare tire on the back of the door, I like that. Um, it works well with these 35 inch Mickey Thompsons. If you have a bigger tire, and um, I'm gonna guess you wanna get a bumper mount, something more secure and sturdy to hold the heavier weight. I have seen Jeeps that have the modification where the tire, spare tire's on the roof. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I also, at the same time, um, with meetings and different things, visiting some people in the hospital, you have to park in those garages, and that would be a hindrance. So I'm just gonna stick with leaving it on the, back, the outside of the back gate. Okay, I love the lift, I do. But something to keep in mind is this um, measures, let me see here, 24 inches to the running board. And I have a great friend, Doris, 
I love her. She's known me all my life growing up. We have a great relationship. We go out for lunch and go to visit some other people. And uh, this here's a struggle. She is, uh, she's not tall, I'll say it that way. And uh, she just turned 90 last year. And she's good on her feet, but it's a heck of a jump. And there's a whole little footstool, that sort of thing. It's just easier for me to trade cars with Hannah and take her Subaru. Something to keep in mind. Also, just to give you an idea of what it is to the roof. That's 75 inches. And from the ground to the fender, 41 inches. Something to keep in mind. Okay, now we're at the driver's seat. The best part, right? Just put your foot on the running board, hop up, put your booty in, twist your legs in. You're here. All right, on the driver's door is just the handle and the controls for the locks. It locks all the doors if you'd like. And um, in the driver's seat, I like to sit like this. So my seatbelt's right here, give you an idea. I'm gonna start it up. Just pull it back in neutral. This is a six-speed manual transmission, so I like to sit right about this position. I do. I like my knees to be bent. When I'm running my left foot's running the clutch, my right foot's running the gas and the brake. So I like to have bent knees and I like to sit up just about like this. So my left hand's on the steering wheel and my right hand's using um, the stick. So we have two vents for the driver. One on my left right above hits me right here. I can position that. It's kind of nice and it has this, uh, the round, it looks like a headlight, so I think that's pretty cool. And up on the dash is a speaker from the Alpine system. And then my other vent for the driver is right here. All right, so let's take a quick look at the controls. Here's the screen for navigation. We have that, where to, very easy. Um, you can hide that navigation, go back to radio, the tuning, the channels, the Sirius FM, um, AM, all the presets are in there. And if you want to add your own music, bring a couple CDs along, you can load them right in here. It goes back. And just the volume. Um, we do have a, uh, a cord, aux cord, my kids call it. And you can plug that in. You can stream your own music. There are co controls on the steering wheel. Just uh, cruise control and then you can channel through how you want it to appear up on your dash like all right and below the screen we have the window controls then we have our heat air conditioning vents which are nice just the controls for add more make it hot or cold with defrosters where you want it to blow and we have heated seats we have the anti the skid warning um, our blinkers the 110 which plugs in right below the console right here and another heated seat for the passenger. And then our 12 volt plug-in for mostly cell phone charging is what we do it with it. Um, then you have a little cargo net that holds my chapstick. Okay, so the back seat, I'm gonna hop in. I'm gonna show you, it's just, thankfully there's running boards. It's just a hop up on the running boards. You kind of just twist. Um, and if you're a lady in a dress, you just hop up stick your booty in and then swing your legs in. So that's the best way I've been able to maneuver this. And I'm gonna try to gracefully slide out of here. You know what, Hunter gets in and out of this Jeep twice a day, every day, so. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the back seat. The whole back seat comes down just in two pieces. So this folds down just the singular seat. And then next, if you go to the other door, you can fold down from that door. It'll fold down both the middle and that side seat. Okay, so you just grab the seat belt here, and then there's a seat belt that's attached um, to the seat for the, the middle guy. So the passenger, back seat passenger, is a hop in. Once again, it's just a Hop up on that running board, twist your bottom in, bring your feet in. You might want to practice. <laughs> I gracefully hop out, but back behind the shoulder, 
is another lever, very quicking. You pull that up, pull the seat forward, the headrest hits the passenger seat, and it goes down flat. So to put the seat back up, you're gonna pull on the seat, grab the headrest just so it doesn't kind of get stuck on there. Push it back. Same for this one, just grab. And while you're pulling up, I just hold the headrest so it'll snap back. There you go. See these mats? Just a uh, tire tread, pretty cool. And they fit in all the little nooks and crannies of the back floor of the Jeep. Okay, and something else to keep in mind, the passengers you're gonna be picking up in the back seat. Let me show you. I hop up here and twist in. This is pretty narrow. Um, honestly, I have room once I'm in, but the gateway to get there in and out of this pass back door isn't the greatest. But I can't complain because I'm always driving and Hunter is my passenger. He likes to sit in the back. He hasn't said a word, so I'm all right. Just something to keep in mind. Okay, this has been fun. I enjoyed showing you the Jeep inside and out. Now I get to tell you about the things I do like. You can take the tops off, the back top off, the doors out. You can modify it to your own personal style. I love that. This color is Gobi. It's eye-catching. Most Jeep Wranglers are. People will stop me, ask me about it. When we go with friends, they're like, you drive, I get to ride in your Jeep. You can't go wrong. It's fun to drive in the summer, in the winter. winter. Uh, I love it. It turns on a dime, it's easy to park. And um, in all seriousness, a Jeep holds its value. It's uh, has a high resale value. We learned that on our last Jeep. And look, we got another one. All right, just a couple things after I've been driving and owning this Jeep for two years that I don't like is the gas mileage. But I knew that going into that, so that's really not legit. Uh, the reverse. So I go to put the Jeep in reverse, let off the clutch, go in the back, and boom, it pops out. I don't like that. I don't know what's up with that. It's frustrating. It happens more times than not. And I've talked to other Jeep owners. They said their 2017 and a few owners had 18. It does the same thing. So it's not me. Mike thought it was me. He tried it. It happened to him. So I wasn't crazy. Oh, okay. It's been two years that I've had this Jeep and I don't have any plans on selling it. It's been great. I showed you the ins and outs of it. And if anything, I'm going to make a few more modifications, but I'm looking forward to driving it around for quite a while. There was one modification I just made. There's a mini set of stairs in here. Comes in handy. Okay, that's my review for the 2017 Jeep Wrangler JKU. I like it. I showed you the ins and outs of it. And oh, one more thing that's not a big deal. The Jeep is recognizable. There's not many changes they've made over the years. And I like that. All right, so if you like these videos, click the like button. Hit subscribe if you're a new subscriber. Share them with your friends. Comment. Thanks very much. See you on the next one. Then the song over the radio, oh, and I can feel Bringing back all I know, like a whiz, like a kiss Like a voice to remind me, yeah. I don't have to fly oh, away tonight I just need to find a place that I can call my own You call my own And I don't need a palace in the sky I just need to find a place that I can call my own You call my own